I'm always looking for ways to improve my videos and footage and one of the things that for the longest time I couldn't figure out was how do I get my footage looking sharper and crisper going from something soft kind of like this to looking you know sharp and crisp like this. So let me show you my fast and free easy way that I like to do it all completely free in DaVinci Resolve. So let me show you that right now. Alright, so on to the main part of the video. We're going to make this fast, simple, and easy. So we're going to open up DaVinci Resolve and set a little five minute countdown timer right now. So I got DaVinci Resolve open. I have my clip that I want to sharpen on it right here. And it's literally so easy to do. You just go down from to your uh, color tab right here, which is the circle icon thingy. And what you're going to see here is your clip. Uh, displayed and what we want to do is open this thing called nodes so when we open up nodes it's if you're familiar with Premiere Pro it's kind of like layers but it just makes a lot more sense so right here I have my base node I'm going I usually add an additional two nodes if there is additional stuff that I want to add to it um, just so that it doesn't destroy the original clip that I have and I could just delete the node that I don't want anymore. So with the second node I generally just add my LUT um, or color that I like with my video so I'm going to put that real quick right now. Disregard it if your video is already colored. Um, the next step is super easy. All I have to do is go to my third node, click it, right click and choose color space. On color space we want to click lab CIE nice and simple like that and you're gonna notice nothing really changes right away because we're gonna have to do some tweaks to it which is super easy. Right click again choose channels and we're gonna deselect channel 2 and we're also gonna deselect channel 3. Now I'm not really going to explain what it does too much because I personally don't really know. We're just going to try and make this as simple as possible. We're going to then go down to radius and if this isn't open you just click this tab right here where it looks like a teardrop and a triangle. It's going to be called blur. We're going to click it. We're going to go down to radius and we're just going to bring this down a notch. So for me personally, I like to go down to 46. Some people like to go down to 44. It honestly all depends on kind of your preference on you know how sharp or how crisp you want it. Um, so I'm gonna keep it at 46. And this is you know a good range for me. You could play around if you go all the way down. It looks you know a lot sharper, but also the quality just looks kind of mush. If you go up, it looks softer, and that's not really what the, we're looking for in this video. So I like to keep it at 46. Um, just nice, simple, and easy way how to do it. And this is just, you know, my personal favorite. Um, I found this, you know, searching many, many YouTube videos on like how to sharpen, how to do this and that. But I think this is the fastest and easiest way to do it. Um, while making it really easy and repeatable for a lot of clips that you may have. So this is my fast, free, easy way. Um, hopefully you guys were able to use this and to enjoy it in this quick little video that I made. Um, if you did like this video, make sure to press that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future videos kind of like this. More tutorials and fun adventure vlogs that I have in the future. As well as comment down below if you have any questions in regards to this or any questions in regards to other cool things that you're curious to learn about in DaVinci Resolve or just technical issues with that. But I think this made it, you know, nice and simple and really easy to understand. Um, there's a link down below too to DaVinci Resolve which you could download for free today and do this for yourself right now. So 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you out and I'll see you guys later. Bye. That's always my favorite part about syncing this audio. Just love doing it. I'll make a video sometime about it, but make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out and yeah, this video is fun to make and hopefully it helps you guys too. So yeah, make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Please, thank you. Yeah.